G'day folks and welcome to the first ever Cinema Australia Wrap, a monthly video where we'll be covering all of the latest Australian film news from around the country. Uh, my name is Matthew Eels and I'm the founder and editor of cinemaaustralia.com.au, an online space dedicated to the support and promotion of Australian made films through independent news, reviews, features and interviews. Anyway, let's get started. Uh, perhaps the most exciting Australian film news from the last week was the trailer release of Australia Day, a powerful new drama from director Creve Stenders. The trailer certainly shows an edgy side to Stenders, who's best known for the family-friendly Red Dog and its sequel Red Dog True Blue. Uh, here's a quick look at some of the trailer. Report his niece go missing. There you go. Young girl's coming to get you. It'll be all right. I don't think she is your niece. I want to help you. I want to help you. Go, 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 go. There are more girls. You can see the whole trailer at cinemaaustralia.com.au where you can find a bunch of other brand new trailers for Australian feature films like Message Man and One Less God, as well as documentaries The Pink House and Defiant Lives, both of which are screening at this year's Sydney Film Festival. Uh, ben Young's Perth shot psychological thriller Hounds of Love has hit Australian cinemas after a very successful festival run both at home and overseas. Uh, we spoke in depth with one of the film's stars, Stephen Curry, about his disturbing role as psychopath John White in the film. You can see the whole interview now at cinemaaustralia.com.au. Uh, Hounds of Love is a true masterpiece, folks, and uh, if you need any more convincing to see it, uh, here's a clip from the film. Sorry about that. No, it's all right. Nothing's ever easy, is it? No. Do you uh, want a quick cane before you escape? Oh, no, it's all right. My friend's waiting for me. You don't want to check that we didn't rip you off with glass clippings or something? <laughs> oh. If you're after more interviews, we recently spoke with Sarah West about another Perth shot film, Bad Girl, uh, Anna Sampson about her romantic comedy What If It Works, as well as Australian film legend Jack Thompson about Don't Tell, also in Australian cinemas now. Uh, in film festival news, Revelation Perth International Film Festival is set to launch its full program this Saturday, and uh, Cinema Australia can reveal that the highly anticipated crime drama Watch the Sunset will have its world premiere at this year's festival. That's pretty exciting. Uh, we've also been given an exclusive sneak peek at the list of Australian films screening at this year's festival. We can't reveal too much yet, uh, but we guarantee Australian film lovers will be rewarded. Uh, in crowdfunding news, the makers of The Legend of Ben Hall have launched a campaign to raise $2.5 million for their new film, The Legend of Ned Kelly. Uh, according to the filmmakers, this is the most ambitious film funding project ever launched in Australia. Uh, if you've got some loose change or a couple of million bucks, uh, flick it their way. Uh, I know that they'll really appreciate it. 
Uh, here's what the filmmakers had to say about their film. We want to examine the Ned Kelly story by stripping away the preconceptions and stick to the documented facts as much as possible about Ned Kelly himself, his relatives, friends, and even from the police's point of view. We want to take you back in time to another place and world to see this story through the eyes of those living in this controversial period in Australian history. We want to show these characters as history does. Everything we include in the script will have solid, demonstrable proof as its basis. Very quickly before I go, an August 31 release date has been announced for Ali's Wedding, the second feature film released this year for director Jeffrey Walker after Dance Academy. Uh, Ali's Wedding has been described as an affectionate and entertaining love story about family, duty and love in multicultural Australia. You can also see the trailer at cinemaaustralia.com.au. Well that's all for now folks, uh, be sure to visit cinemaaustralia.com.au We can keep up to date with all the latest Australian film news. And don't forget, uh, if you've made an Australian feature film or a short film, get in touch, uh, we'd really like to hear from you. Anyway, bye for now.